What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming to the review of Greystone Canyon's brand new album, Iron and Oak. So here's a brand new band for me. It looks like they've got a couple releases before this one, but I saw the album art and thought, gee, this is going to be fun. The album art is something looking like a dungeon's door, like an old-timey wooden door with metal locks on it. So I was thinking this was going to be like Dungeons and Dragons kind of stuff, you know, Rhapsody, Twilight Force. It's nothing like that. It's more just like an old hard rock, back to roots style. What's probably coolest to me about this style is that I don't think there's a single frill in the production. I heard vocals, guitars, bass, and drums, and I think that was it. Maybe one of the songs had some orchestrations, but there was no padding besides that. This actually was just a band. An odd comparison I'm going to make here is Black Star Riders. They don't really sound like Thin Lizzy in that there's none of that Irish melody. Maybe this is what Phil Lynott would have produced if he were raised on Fosters instead of Guinness. This band is Australian, by the way. But it is a similar hard rock sensibility with really good guitar playing. The vocals sound like a later Jeff Tate. It's not the soaring Queen of the Reich style, but it's his later, you know, just great melodic hard rock voice. The guitar playing, though, is definitely the standout. In a way, it's really refreshing to hear some of this again. A lot of the more extreme genres of metal that feature double bass playing and 16th notes all the time don't give the guitar a lot of room so that it has to be just 16th notes also, but it sounds monotonous. When the band is slowing down a bit, it gives the guitar player a lot more room to put his foot on the pedal. Like, seriously, Jeff Loomis is, of course, amazing, but how many truly memorable guitar solos have there been post-1995? So with that, let's get into some songs. Price on Your Head. Again, great guitar playing here. Very, very tasty. It sounds more like a 70s to 80s style with just a bit more technical ability instead of most modern metal. On a similar note, We All Become Yesterday. Holy shit, this guitar solo. It's like 1991 Zach Wilde meets Warren Demartini of Rat. I know hair metal gets a bad rap, but come on, Warren Demartini is a monster, and he can play way better than those brutal dudes that still live in their mother's basements anyway. Couple more to comment on. Breathe Again. Is this just Bad Omen by Megadeth slowed down? Like, actually, listen to the two and get back to me. This band generally does not sound like Megadeth. There's no double bass drumming. It's not the same fervor that Dave Mustaine stuff comes out with. But this riff is similar, and to me, it's kind of funny. I've often wondered, like, if people could reappropriate riffs in a different style. Is it even plagiarism at that point? Probably a silly example, but the chorus to Universe on Fire by Glory Hammer is the same exact chords as Africa by Toto. Yeah, you know what I mean? Lastly... Raging Waters. This is a fun road song, even though I don't think it's explicitly about the road. When I say a road song, I'm talking, it, it is a common trend. Something like Turn the Page, where it's about the monotony of waking up somewhere else every morning and not being at home. Faithfully by Journey is kind of like that, but turned into a love song. But you know, this is something a lot of bands write about. If anything, I'm actually wondering, has this band even gotten the opportunity to tour? I hope so. So this is a fun change of pace for me, and I'm really high on this guitar playing. This makes you want to go back and listen to more hair metal. This band is not a hair metal band, but, you know, that Warren Martini comparison, I wonder if this guitar player was in influenced by them or George Lynch or something. As something of a double bass drumming addict, it makes me wondering, did guitar playing ultimately pay the price for that aesthetic? Please comment if you think I'm missing some great ones. Rock on.